Hey, good morning, everyone. Hope you had a good night's rest. Uh, today is our number three devotion uh, from uh, the book that's from this day forward by Craig and Amy Gochelle. And uh, it is a devotion. This is a book uh, that's available, but there's a, uh, a devotion that um, is free on the Bible app along with a lot of other devotions. And, uh, and so if you're interested in, in reading that devotion for yourself, or um, if you uh, want to look at some other ones, they're all available there. And if you have any questions, you can let me know, and I'll be happy to, uh, to help you get started on that. I just want to start off this morning uh, with uh, kind of giving a little heads up that I'm reading these scriptures in order. Uh, the first one's talking about the wife, and so uh, I didn't want anybody to get mad at me, so I'm just letting you know that it starts off. Uh, and I'm doing it in order, in the same version, everything. Uh, but our first scripture is Proverbs 27, verse 15. It says, A quarrelsome wife is as annoying as the constant dripping on a rainy day. And uh, I'm going to leave that one alone from there because I don't want to get in trouble. I'm just reading scripture that goes along with it today. Um, and so our next one is James 1, verse 19. It says, Understand this, my dear brothers and sisters. You must all be quick to listen, slow to speak, and slow to get angry. Human anger does not produce the righteousness God desires. And then Proverbs 18.2 says, Fools have no interest in understanding. They won't only want to air their own opinions. And then Proverbs 21 verse 23, it says, Watch your tongue and keep your mouth shut, and you will stay out of trouble. I guess that was more for the guys. And... Uh, then our last one is Ephesians chapter 4, uh, verse 27. It's for, it says, for anger gives a foothold to the devil. And uh, so uh, this whole devotion is basically on fighting fair, and it's going to cover different things. One is going to be on criticism, two is contempt, three is defensiveness, and four is stonewalling. And uh, so I'm just going to read some of the stuff that it talks about there, uh, but kind of a preface of the whole thing. It says, all couples fight. But how you fight can mean the difference between a minor disagreement and major damage. Healthy couples fight for resolution, not for victory. And I think that's a big point that we need to remember uh, in our marriages, that you know, healthy couples fight for resolution, not for victory. It says conflict isn't a relationship killer all by itself. But here are four warning signs that you may not be handling conflict in a constructive way. And that's the ones we're to talk about. So um, I'm just going to read that part again. It says, but here are four warning signs that you may not be handling conflict in a constructive way. First one is criticism. It says, are you using disagreements or conflict as an opportunity to criticize your spouse? spouse? Or are you guilty of criticizing them in front of other people? Criticism is a warning sign that you're fighting against each other instead of for the relationship. Uh, and I think that's a very good point. I'm going to read that again. It says, criticism is a warning sign that you're fighting against each other instead of for the relationship. Our, our number two is uh, contempt. It says, contempt is one of the most accurate indicators that a marriage is heading off track. Even if it's, nece sorry, even if it's never expressed in words, a disgusted glare, an exasperated eye roll, or a snarky mental remark is still a big red flag. Uh, number three, it says defensiveness. It says right now, when you're not in the middle of a fight, you have to admit that defensiveness is not something that you'll probably be able to see in yourself once feathers are ruffled. You'll have to choose to listen when it's pointed out to you. And number four uh, is stonewalling. It says, if your spouse won't seek God with you, don't let that stop you. Your spouse is not your enemy. We only have one enemy, and he's a thief and a liar who never fights fair. Don't fight each other. Get on the same team and fight off the spiritual issues like pride and a hard heart that sabotage your relationship. And I'm going to read that apart again. It says, don't fight each other. Get on the same team and fight off the spiritual issues like pride and a hard heart that sabotage your relationship. And, uh, and so uh, hopefully you, uh, you got something out of this devotion. It's actually a very good devotion today. And uh, basically just talking about, you know, fighting fair in, in a relationship and, uh, and remembering that we're not fighting necessarily against each other. Uh, but we're fighting the enemy. We're fighting Satan and what he's trying to destroy. And, 
And so uh, let's just pray this morning. God, I thank you for this day. I thank you for all the blessings. And God, I just pray you order our steps. Help us to have a great day. And God, I pray that in our marriages uh, that we honor you, that we do everything that we can uh, to fight uh, for our marriages, but God, not fight in our marriages. And uh, God, I just pray that you just uh, make things known to us that we need to to change or to get rid of or to add, God. And I just pray that we uh, allow you to order our steps in every way. In Jesus' name, amen. Y'all have a great day.